Welcome back to Old School Gamers, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about installing the TurboGrafx-16 and CD Core and getting some games up and running on your mister. As a kid, the TurboGrafx-16 was my third console that I purchased shortly after the Sega Genesis, and I grew fond of it very quickly with great games like Ninja Spirit and Splatterhouse. But there are plenty of great games on the TurboGrafx-16 and CD Drive for everyone that make this an excellent core to add to your mister setup. Let's get started. You know what to do. Like and subscribe, guys. Like and subscribe. Before we get started, I wanted to put this out there. When you install any new core, including this one, make sure you've already updated your main Mr. Core file. Go ahead and download the latest and overwrite the current one, which is in your main folder of your Mr.'s SD card. Okay? Otherwise, you're going to see some odd behavior, and I did, so make sure that it's updated before you start. So with that all done, let's get started. First, I want you to go ahead and go to your computer. Make sure your Mr.'s SD card is already attached. And what we're going to do, we're going to download the TurboGrafx-16's core file. We're going to do it from this site here. And don't worry, I'm going to post the link you know, down below in the description. Okay. This link has some good information, though. I do recommend going through it just so that you're more familiar with the core and all of its different features. So the latest core is going to be under releases. And by the time you see this, there's probably going to be a newer version of the core file. So just be sure to get the latest version. All you got to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom and download it. And once you download it, just simply copy it over to your SD card. Okay. And I put all of my console cores under a folder called underscore console. So you just got to copy it and paste it in there. Uh, the underscore, what that does is it actually lets you see that folder in your Mr. Menu. Okay. Once it copies over, just make sure you don't have another core file in there already, like an older one. If you do, just go ahead and delete it. Now we need somewhere to put all your ROM backups where the core can find them. So we're going to make two folders underneath the Games folder, which is on the root of your SD card. For regular TurboGrafx-16 cue card games, make a folder called TGFX16, all uppercase, okay? For the CD games, make one called TGFX16-CD, also in all caps. Now, when you copy your cue card games into the folder, they can be in bin, PCE, or zip format. The zip format will work as long as the zip file has the bin or PCE ROM inside of it. Okay, I like zip files just because they're smaller, but it's not required. Now let's get some of those TurboGrafx CD games working. The key to CD-ROMs working is the BIOS file, which you of course can get from your local online Google store. There are three things you need to look at for help to finding the right BIOS file. First thing to be aware about is the version. I use the PC Engine version 3.0.1, but anything over version 3 is recommended for the highest compatibility. Second, the file size will be exactly 262,144 bytes exactly. Third is the ending text. Open up your BIOS file, notepad, and scroll to the bottom. If you can read the last part like this in this file here, it will not work. Find one like this one. Check out the other file. I'm going to open it up so you can see it. Scroll down to the bottom. If you cannot read it, if it's still garbled like the rest of the file is, like this, all the way down here, then you are good to go. This is the right file. Now, if your file meets all three of these criteria, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Place this file in the TGFX16 CD folder and rename it to CD underscore BIOS dot ROM. And if Windows asks you if you want to change the extension, go ahead and say yes. Nach 100 Jahren ist der Böse wieder auferstanden. 
Now you need to create one folder for each game. So let's make one for Castlevania. And you can name this whatever you want, by the way. So this folder can have either an ISO file or you can put in bin and Q files in here as well. My Castlevania one is a bin and Q, so both files will go in this folder together. Once it's got in there, all you gotta do is eject your SD card, pop it in your mister, and let's play. When you load up the TurboGrafx-16 core, you can either load PCE or bin files for the regular cue card games, or you can go down and select insert cd.cue, and this will let you load the CD games. If you get the BIOS screen, just push whatever button you set to the start button, which is the run button, and the game will start. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please post your comments or questions below, and as always, thanks for watching guys. See ya.